I would be losing it. I would be losing my property right now. Because... <sighs> they're not even fucking working me. So I would be like super stressed out. You know, I'm lucky that I just have a room to rent out. If I had a house to, you know, for, you know, bills, utility bills and all that. I swear, I don't know how fucking people do it out there. It's fucking ridiculous, you know. Oh, and that's the word. Everything's so redundant, redundant, redundant. So like repetitive, so perpetual motion type of shit. So, you know, the cycle of life, that type of thing. <clears throat> and time for me to like take a nap. <sighs> From all my hard labor. Oh my god. One of my fucking nuts hurts. My right nut. I don't know why. But yeah, like, this life is so redundant. And it's like, what's the point? But like I said, like I shared, you know, everything takes patience, you know? That's why I believe in the smart greenhouses or the smart... um Growing systems that I believe should be sold to everyone so we could all grow food in our own backyards by buying just a few seeds, connecting like the sprinkler system to it or the water hose or something, and then like our phone will tell us. Or give us notifications like, hey, come back in a week and do this. Do this task. Kind of like playing a video game like Farmsville. My mom used to love that game. Or she still does, I think. But either way, like something like that. It's like, it'll be like a, like, a, like a video game, but in real life. And your harvest, you will really reap a harvest from that work that you do or whatever. So you'll get notifications, you know, to go maybe add some vitamins, a few drops of vitamins to your plant or or to even go and replant it in another pot or something like that. But I'm thinking keeping the pot big just to start off with so you won't even have to replant anything. That's just a waste of time. You know, like, take it out of this container, put it in this container, take it out of this container, put it in this container, take it out of this container, put it in this... Like, just let it grow. Too much back and forth, you know? In one container. So, something like that, you know, I think would be super, super cool. Like, I've seen this one... Like, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and people eating healthy... Um, there's this lady, she was growing, she's growing like her own, like she has her own vineyard or her own, not vineyard, but her own garden outside her own like garden patch. And she has a greenhouse and in the greenhouse, she has tomatoes, stuff like that. Yeah. That's what it's all about right there. So, I believe these smart people should be selling that type of stuff to us so we can have something to do. And we will save money in the long run. Think about it. It's like buying solar panels. Eventually, they're going to pay for themselves. So, eventually, the greenhouse, the smart greenhouses will yield so much fruit you're basically getting it for free afterwards. So you're paying for some fruit. You're paying for the machine. You're paying for the smart greenhouse. But eventually it's going to yield so much that it'll pay itself. 
it'll pay the machine off, you know, and then after that, it's all profit. And then you'll be able to go and sell it or buy another one, you know, and I'm thinking like, especially if it offered different options for different seeds and where it was, or it could be programmed to water the plants accordingly without you doing no work, little to no work. You know, like letting God do all the work for you. Like, like, yes, God, work for me, work for me. Let me just rest in your love. Like, why do I need to go outside and, you know, pick weeds? God doesn't want us to pick no weeds. We have robots for that. We could go on our phones, play a little video game and chop some weeds down with our phones. Without even having to go outside. Just jump on our phone and there it is. Or, well, we can water our plant by pushing a button. Even that would be great. But then who wants to keep pushing a button? But there's different options. I mean, we could think about some crazy stuff, right? With all this technology stuff now that we have. Like, it's it's awesome. It's pretty much like a sprinkler system. drip system so no that's not that's like downgrading my idea yeah I don't want to do that mm. yeah just put the seeds and walk away and then the phone will just alert us you know like hey come back this day and do this and do that and then a few months a few weeks come back and pick your fruit. It will even throw like. Make sound effects. Like yay. An, an accomplishment. You know like. Fuck yeah. You fucking did it. You fucking grew a tomato. You fucking grew a fucking apple. You fucking grew a fucking carrot. You grew a fucking blueberry. Strawberry. Wildberry. Uh, kiwi. Whatever the case may be, cucumbers, whatever you want to grow. I think that shit would be bad ass. So anyway, I got this at the 99 cent store. It was like, it's like a piece of like yarn or something. It looks like it, it came from a thong. But I liked it because I have my planter and my planter, I want to add a white ribbon. And I've been thinking about this, but I never, I didn't do it because I didn't have the white ribbon. So when I seen this, I was like, perfect, I'll keep it. So this one came with one when I bought the seashells. But, and see how long it is? This this one's not that long. Maybe I should have just kept it on, dang it. But I wanted a, a white one. for Especially for this project here that I did. But I like these. I like these, um, these other ones as well. I really love them. But... For this one, I wanted to put a white one on there. See that? Well, if only I can tie the second knot. Okay, got it. See that? Ta-da! Holy mother of Jesus.
Things are just falling, falling everywhere around here. But anyway, I don't have anything anymore. I don't own anything. I'm just like, you know, the more you have, the less. I mean, the more you have, the more you do. The more you have to do. The less you have, the less you have to do. A cleaning just becomes easier. Because you don't have to clean up so much bull crap. So, yeah, I love just resting in God's love. And my friend, he has a robot. It sweeps the floor. <sighs> my God, I love that thing. Praise the Lord. Just the way life should be, you know? Praise God. <sighs> pimply face, pimply face. I might, I might have some blackheads, but these here are not blackheads. <laughs> it's, I just got done shaving. <laughs> like anyone gives a fuck, right? Who gives a fuck about Francisco and what the fuck he's going through? That type of shit. But yeah, like, I, I just trip out on everything. Like, the fuck's the whole point? Just get a fucking job and work. Like, fuck. <sighs> like Snoop Doggy Dog. Go get a jobby job. <laughs> Oh shit! Ow! Snoop Doggy Dog! Go get a jobby job! <laughs> imagine! Imagine that people! If Snoop Doggy Dog lost all his money and he has to go get a jobby job, I wonder what the world would think about that. <laughs> they would probably be like, what the fuck? Snoop Doggy Dog working at McDonald's? And then they'll, they'll go, like, they'll, they'll probably bump some music on purpose. His own music, like rapping about, I'm Snoop Dogg. I don't got to worry about no jobby job. I just stay home and smoke blunty blunts. <laughs> and on my breaks, well, you'll probably see him taking his break, smoking a blunt. I'm taking my medication, everyone. Fuck off. Fuck off! I think that shit would be funny in a movie.
Fuck. Another day in paradise. Another day, another dollar. But hey, I'm thankful for another day and another dollar. Believe me when I say that. My god, I just feel like scratching my butt. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you all go. I'll talk to you all later.